let's open up exercise 2 on the unit.rpg file. We are going to learn the various techniques and methods of selection. Let's start with the conventional method first, the easiest ones. Or let's start with the most common way of selecting. Now, if you, are, if you notice on the lower right hand corner of my screen here, you will see certain feedbacks down here that will tell you, or certain tips here that will show you controls. Holding on to the control key will add to your selection. And holding the shift key will subtract the selection. All right. For example, we are going to click on this first wall. And if we decide to add more selection, we will hold down the control key. Notice when I hold down the control key, there is a plus near my selection cursor. So I can click on the next item, the next wall here to add on to my selection. All right. And I will hold down the shift key. Once I hold it down, you will notice that the minus sign will come up and I can reduce or subtract my selection here. Okay, that is to basically use the control key to add to selection and use the sub use the shift key or holding on to the shift key to subtract or to reduce my selections. Okay. We can also use the tab key to select an adjoining object. For example, if I were to just mouse over this wall here, and if I press tab, do you notice that the perpendicular wall down here gets selected also? So if I were to tap it, you notice that it gets highlighted but not selected. Huh? So I'm going to mouse over this wall and then press the tab key and then left click it to add on to my selection. Okay, let me just repeat this one more time. I mouse over the perimeter wall here and I press the tab key. You notice now I can select the entire perimeter of the wall this way. Okay, I repeat one more time. Mouse over the parameter wall and don't click anything. Just mouse over and then press the tab key and then left click. I can select the entire perimeter. Next, I need to share with you the key difference between a window selection and a crossing selection. All right. Notice where my my mouse cursor is at the moment. It's at the low upper left hand corner, and I will click and drag down here. Okay, if you notice the objects that are completely inside the selection window here, okay, of my mouse cursor gets selected this way. So if I were to let go of it. Okay, let me repeat again. Top left hand corner, click and drag all the way to the lower right hand corner. And then I let go. Everything that is within the, the perimeter here of my selection will be selected. Okay, now let me show you the other way of selection, the crossing method. So I will instead start from the lower right hand corner, click and drag upwards. Notice the selection window is not a continuous line now, it is in hidden lines. Notice that the anything that is within or partially selected within the boundary, this selection boundary will be selected. Okay, so 
So in this case, just like that. Okay, from the lower right hand corner to the upper left hand corner will be selected as well. Next, I'm going to show you a more efficient or the most efficient way of selecting many objects or multiple objects within a project or an area by using filters. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the window selection method. Upper left hand corner, click and drag all the way down until everything is being selected. This way, you notice that everything inside the selection window is selected. But for example, right now, I only wanted to select the walls and not anything else. No, I don't want to select the doors. I don't want to select the toilet fixtures, the, the kitchen fixtures, etc. So it becomes very troublesome if I have to hold the shift key and reduce my selection one by one by one. It will be very inefficient. What I can do is, let me window select everything one more time. I can go to the filter button here, this filter command here, and click on it. And you notice the moment I have done this, all the items within the selection window will be reflected in the selection filter here. And what I can do is I can click on check none okay and i will click on walls only notice here there are 30 wall items here and then once i'm done with this i will click on okay do you notice now nothing else is selected but the walls only on top of this I can also save the selection so that I don't have to do this all the time. So what would happen is I will go to the save button here and click on it and I can give it a logical name that I can remember or I can recognize by keying in walls and I click OK. All right. After I have saved my selection, I can go to Manage now, the Manage tab. Then I can click on, under Selection portion here, I can click on Load Selection. And I can load my selection that I have just saved just now and click OK. Notice now, whatever I, that I have saved just now would be selected. 